HBP stands for high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries, which carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and is recorded as two numbers, the systolic pressure over the diastolic pressure. Systolic pressure, the higher number, representing the pressure in the arteries when the heart contracts and pumps blood. Diastolic pressure, the lower number, representing the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. A normal blood pressure reading is typically around 120-80 mmHg. When blood pressure consistently exceeds the normal range, it is considered high, and this condition is known as hypertension. Hypertension is often referred to as the silent killer because it may not cause noticeable symptoms until it reaches a severe or life-threatening stage. Untreated high blood pressure can lead to serious health complications, including heart disease, stroke, kidney damage, and other cardiovascular problems. Regular monitoring of blood pressure and lifestyle modifications, such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress management, are essential for managing and preventing high blood pressure. In some cases, medication may be prescribed by a healthcare professional to help control blood pressure. If you have concerns about your blood pressure, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider for proper evaluation and guidance. What causes HPB? Hypertension, or high blood pressure, HBP, can be caused by a combination of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Here are some common factors that contribute to the development of hypertension. Genetics, family history plays a role in hypertension. If your parents or close relatives have high blood pressure, you may be more predisposed to developing it yourself. Age, the risk of hypertension increases with age. As people get older, blood vessels may lose some of their elasticity, leading to an increase in blood pressure. Race and ethnicity, some ethnic groups such as African Americans, have a higher predisposition to hypertension. Additionally, people of South Asian descent may have a higher risk. Gender. Before the age of 65, men are generally more likely to develop hypertension than women. After 65, the risk becomes similar for both genders. Obesity. Being overweight or obese is a significant risk factor for hypertension. Excess body weight increases the workload on the heart and can lead to the development of high blood pressure. Physical inactivity, lack of regular physical activity, is associated with an increased risk of hypertension. Regular exercise helps maintain a healthy weight, strengthen the heart, and keep blood vessels in good condition. Unhealthy diet, a diet high in sodium, salt, saturated and trans fats, and low in potassium, can contribute to high blood pressure. High sodium intake can lead to water retention and increased blood volume. Excessive alcohol consumption, drinking too much alcohol can raise blood pressure. Moderation is key, and it's generally recommended to limit alcohol intake. Smoking, tobacco smoke can damage blood vessels and elevate blood pressure. Quitting smoking has numerous health benefits, including a reduction in the risk of hypertension. Chronic stress, long-term stress may contribute to hypertension. Stress can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as overeating, smoking, or excessive alcohol consumption, which can further contribute to high blood pressure. It's important to note that these factors often interact, and an individual's risk is influenced by a combination of genetics and lifestyle. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and managing stress, can help prevent or control hypertension. Regular checkups with a healthcare professional are essential for monitoring blood pressure and addressing any concerns. Blood pressure readings. Blood pressure readings consist of two numbers, typically expressed as a ratio. The first number is called the systolic blood pressure, and the second number is the diastolic blood pressure. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg. The systolic pressure is the higher of the two and represents the pressure in the arteries when the heart beats, contracts, while the diastolic pressure is the lower number and represents the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. A standard blood pressure reading is usually given as systolic over diastolic, for example, 120-80 mmHg. 
here's what these numbers generally mean. Systolic pressure, the top number represents the pressure in the arteries when the heart contracts to pump blood to the rest of the body. Normal systolic blood pressure is typically considered to be less than 120 mm of mercury. Diastolic pressure, the bottom number represents the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. Normal diastolic blood pressure is typically considered to be less than 80 mm of mercury. Blood pressure categories defined by the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association are as follows. Normal, systolic less than 120 mm of mercury and diastolic less than 80 mm of mercury. Elevated, systolic 120 to 129 mm of mercury and diastolic less than 80 mm of mercury. Hypertension stage 1. Systolic 130 to 139 mm of mercury or diastolic 80 to 89 mm of mercury. Hypertension stage 2. Systolic greater than or equal to 140 mm of mercury or diastolic greater than or equal to 90 mm of mercury. Hypertensive crisis. Systolic greater than 180 mm of mercury and or diastolic greater than 120 mm of mercury. It's important to note that a single reading may not provide an accurate representation of an individual's overall blood pressure. Blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day, and multiple readings over time are often needed for an accurate diagnosis. If you have concerns about your blood pressure, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and guidance. How can we deal with HBP? Managing and dealing with high blood pressure, HBP often involves a combination of lifestyle changes and, in some cases, medication prescribed by a healthcare professional. Here are some strategies to help manage hypertension. Healthy diet. Adopt the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, dash, diet, which emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low-fat dairy products, while minimizing sodium, salt, intake. Reduce processed and packaged foods, as they often contain high levels of sodium. Maintain a healthy weight. Losing excess weight can significantly lower blood pressure. Even a small weight loss can make a positive impact. Regular exercise. Engage in regular aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking, jogging, cycling, or swimming, for at least 150 minutes per week, or as advised by your healthcare provider. Incorporate strength training exercises at least twice a week. Limit alcohol intake. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. This generally means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Quit smoking. Smoking can raise blood pressure and damage blood vessels. Quitting smoking has numerous health benefits, including a reduction in hypertension risk. Reduce stress. Practice stress-reducing techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, yoga, or other relaxation exercises. Identify and address sources of chronic stress in your life. Limit caffeine intake. While the relationship between caffeine and blood pressure isn't fully understood, it's advisable to moderate caffeine consumption, as excessive intake may lead to a temporary increase in blood pressure. Monitor blood pressure regularly. Keep track of your blood pressure at home if advised by your healthcare provider. Attend regular checkups to monitor your overall health and blood pressure. Medication. If lifestyle changes alone are not sufficient, your healthcare provider may prescribe medication to help lower your blood pressure. It's crucial to take prescribed medications as directed and to communicate with your healthcare provider about any concerns or side effects. Follow your healthcare provider's advice. Work closely with your healthcare team to develop a personalized plan for managing your blood pressure. Attend regular checkups and follow any recommendations provided by your healthcare provider. It's important to note that these lifestyle changes are often most effective when adopted together. Consult with your healthcare provider before making significant changes to your diet, exercise routine, or medication regimen. They can provide guidance based on your specific health needs and circumstances. Zangila Fitness, 2024